This I think is a really great one. We're creating a PDF from a sheet. So whatever's on that sheet, I wanna be put into a PDF for sending, for viewing, for an immutable copy, whatever that is you want that for. Here's what I'm going to be turning into a PDF. Here's the sheet I have. It's a standard invoice, right? I have the company name, what the project is, how many hours, how many days. I, it's just a standard invoice, right? Here is the folder in my drive where I want that PDF to appear. So I have a sheet, and when we're done with the script, we're gonna have a PDF here. Let's open up that script, see exactly what we're looking at here. So I just went ahead and named this one really simply, make PDF, right? Obviously we need to get the spreadsheet. We need to get a token. This is going to be useful later um, it's in the actual creation of the PDF part. It's an authentication. So this is all you need to do. You don't need to do anything special with it. Script app dot get OAuth token. Great. We're good to go. Get the sheet that we're working on. And then this is where it starts to work. So we want the URL that sheets use is to create a new file. So if we come here, we can create a PDF by just going file, download, PDF. And it's gonna start doing this and it's gonna have all of these options. When we actually hit export, it's going to call a URL of replacing edit with export. So we're just calling that to begin with. And then we're replacing SS underscore ID with the ID of the sheet we're working on. That's all that this part is doing here. Folder ID, we need the ID of the folder where you want to put the file. You could skip that and it would just put it in the main section of your drive. I want it to go to a specific folder. So that is the ID here, is this ID. And then we get that folder. So drive app dot get folder by ID and just call that folder ID. We could definitely collapse this into a single call, right? So I could do this, but I think this offers more clarity showing it. Just to make the PDF export look nicer, I'm gonna get the invoice number, I'm gonna get the customer name, and then here's the name that I'm going to set it as. Invoice, then the invoice number, then the customer name, and then the date. Okay. So in the end, I want something that looks like invoice for XYZ company LLC and the date. Now here's where, right, let me show you again what that download as PDF looks like. We have all these options here, headers and footers, different formatting, landscape or portrait. That is what we're doing here. So export format equals PDF and format equals PDF. You do need both. I want it letter size. I want it portrait, not landscape. If you're doing something else, you might want landscape. Fit page width, the actual source. If you wanted to show the sheet names and the title, if you want the, the page numbers, the grid lines, repeating row headers, right? So all of these options that are available here we need to declare all of those here. But normally this is the best way to do it. Just make one single call, getting all the different options. And you can look up as well what all of these options are, but this is kind of the standard um, options that you would be working with. Here is where that authorization is necessary. We're gonna call a response. So we are calling a service which is the service to create the export as a PDF. We're calling that service and we are getting the response from that service. And we're getting that as a blob. Okay, a blob, let's look that up, is a binary large object. So it's just a bunch of code that represents stuff, <laughs> but that we can turn, but that the computer can read as different types. So Blob is basically the raw data, and we're going to turn that into a PDF or a CSV or an XLS, whatever that is we need, right? So Blob is the raw data, and we're getting that as a PDF. 
Okay. Blob equals the response. And we want to set the name, right? Because otherwise we'll just get a kind of googly gook dot PDF. Let me actually move the get blob down lower since that's where we're calling the blob. And then folder dot create file. Another way this is often done, if you look up other tutorials or other places these kind of scripts are written, it'll just say drive app dot create file. But since we already called the drive app in getting this folder variable, I can just call folder dot create file in order to get the file directly into that folder that we want. So let's go ahead and run it. And it hates me today. So we're at row 28. What's going on here? Ah, that's interesting. So what's going on here is you can only set the name of a blob. So since response is not currently a blob, but we're making it a blob after, it's not working. So what we can do is move the get blob to here. So response.get blob and then set name. Yay, it ran through. Again, I do like keeping some of those errors in the video so you can see the errors, you can see the troubleshooting process. It said that response.setName is not a function, and that's because you cannot set the name of the response. The response isn't an object yet. We needed to create it as a blob first. And now if we come here, it has invoice for XYZ Company LLC, 2303, 2021, today's date. Open that up, and we have a beautiful PDF. So basically what we're doing is using this URL string, this options string, and the export version of the sheet URL. Then we call a service, right, URL fetch app, right? We're looking at another service. We're passing all the options to it and then creating that blob as a PDF. And then here in the end, telling the folder or the folder in the Drive app to create a file from that blob. As always, thanks so much for watching. Please like, please subscribe, connect with me, email the chat here in, or the comment section here in the YouTube videos, my website, any way you want, go ahead and connect with me. Love to hear from you and help you out however I can.